1947 would prove to be a true Cinderella year for the California Golden Bears. After suffering through the worst season, none of the preseason experts gave the blue and gold much hope for improvement. But they had yet to meet Lynn Pappy Waldorf. Soon after arriving in Berkeley for his first season as head coach, Pappy began creating not only a winning team, but a football powerhouse that would last well into the next decade. Echoes of Pappy for president would be heard rumbling through Strawberry Canyon for the next nine years. We're out here for the Pappy's Boys uh, ceremony, and uh, my grandmother, who's Pappy's daughter, passed away last summer. And um, I know that they always used to come out, so my father and my uncle and I thought it would be great to come on out this year. Well, it's a wonderful opportunity to share. And we get very little, my sister and her family are uh, all on the west, uh, east coast and we were on the west coast. And so this was one of the wonderful times that we shared together going to Pappy's Boys. We uh, you know, just got done having lunch with a couple of his former players and just the stories they tell. And you know, one of the things I keep talking about is you know, Pappy with this 97% graduation rate and it just the impact, the lasting impact he's had on their lives is, I mean, it's really incredible. I just remember answering phones for, of newspaper men calling up and so on to talk to dad about the up and coming game and so on and so uh, I felt a, really much a part of it because I uh, intermingled and met many interesting and wonderful people. So it was really an experience that is special, very special. About Two years ago, I started collecting Pappy memorabilia. Uh, my grandmother had just loads and loads of boxes and stuff like that downstairs in her basement, and uh, I started hanging them up in my man cave in the house, and uh, so now I've got a wall dedicated to my great-grandfather in the house.